Welcome to Scoop Canada, your most trusted source for unfiltered news on Canadian politics. Pierre Polyaf, a prominent voice in Canadian politics, recently made headlines with his critique of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. In a bold statement, Polyaf declared, Canadians are not the problem, the problem is Trudeau's misguided policies. This affirmation struck a chord with many Canadians frustrated by the Liberal government's performance. Polyav's words encapsulate a growing sentiment that sees a disconnect between the Trudeau administration's actions and the needs of everyday citizens. Trudeau's administration has consistently positioned itself as a progressive government focused on inclusivity and social justice. However, various policies and decisions have yet to resonate well with most of the populace. While Trudeau emphasizes economic reforms and climate policies, many Canadians argue that these initiatives overlook practical, pressing issues like affordability, health care, and job security. Polyav's statements highlight this divergence, suggesting that Trudeau is out of touch with the everyday struggles of average Canadians. This contrast has amplified public discourse, scrutinizing whether Trudeau's vision aligns with the collective will of the people. Polyav's bold critique has undeniably impacted public perception, stirring support from many Canadians. For his supporters, his statement reinforces their belief that a change in leadership is necessary to address the systemic issues plaguing Canada. The statement has galvanized a conversation about governance and representation in Canada. This discourse could influence future electoral outcomes, redefining political alignments and priorities in the nation. The Trudeau administration has recently faced numerous controversies that have raised concerns among Canadians. These incidents have led to increased scrutiny of the Liberal government's capability to address critical issues effectively. One significant controversy involves the handling of pandemic-related spending. Reports have surfaced alleging that funds meant for public health measures were misallocated, leading to widespread criticism of the government's transparency and fiscal responsibility. Public sentiment has increasingly turned against the Liberal government due to its approach to various policies. Environmental regulations have been a particular flashpoint. While the government has pushed for greener policies, critics argue that these measures must be better implemented and economically disruptive. Many Canadians, especially those in resource-dependent regions, feel their livelihoods are being compromised without adequate compensation or support. While Polyev's statement has portrayed dissatisfaction among the Canadian public concerning Trudeau's government policies, Scoop Canada remains committed to bringing unfiltered and timely news on hot Canadian political topics. Stay tuned as we delve into the controversies generated by Liberal Party members. The media has played a pivotal role in shaping public perception of the Trudeau government. Extensive coverage of the various scandals and controversies has kept these issues in the public eye, ensuring they remain a national discourse topic. Investigative journalism has uncovered details that have added depth to the allegations against the government, further complicating Trudeau's efforts to maintain trust and credibility. Media outlets have also highlighted discrepancies between Trudeau's public statements and his government's actions. This scrutiny has amplified doubts about the Liberal administration's integrity and effectiveness, making it difficult for the government to shift focus to its policy achievements. The combination of these controversies, public sentiment, and media coverage paints a challenging picture for Trudeau's leadership. Recent events suggest a potential shift in Canadian politics, raising questions about the future trajectory of the Liberal Party. The impact of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's Liberal government policies has significantly shaped the Canadian political landscape. During his tenure, Trudeau has implemented various initiatives to address climate change, economic inequality, and social justice issues. However, these policies have not always resonated with the broader public, leading to mixed reviews. One of the most contentious policies has been the carbon tax to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. While environmental advocates praise this measure, others criticize it for raising living costs. Additionally, Trudeau's approach to handling the pandemic, including substantial government spending, has raised concerns about long-term economic sustainability and allegations of misallocated funds. These controversies have catalyzed public scrutiny. Due to these actions, public sentiment towards Trudeau's government has fluctuated significantly. Initially, there was significant support for the Liberal government's progressive agenda. However, public trust waned as promises clashed with perceived ineffectiveness and ethical lapses. The shifts in public opinion are evident in polling data, often reflecting growing apprehension about the government's direction. The handling of ethical issues, including accusations of nepotism and financial mismanagement, has further exacerbated these concerns. Media coverage of different controversies has amplified skepticism, overshadowing other policy achievements. As Canadians weigh these factors, a more critical view of Trudeau's governance emerges. Polyab's assertive critiques tap into the frustration felt by many Canadians, providing an alternative narrative. As a result, we see an increasingly polarized political landscape where the opposition's narrative gains traction. 
Pierre Polyav has emerged as a vocal critic of the liberal government's policies, framing himself as the voice of reason against what he perceives as poor decisions by Justin Trudeau's administration. This stance is underscored by his assertions that the liberal policies are out of touch with the needs and priorities of everyday Canadians. Also, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and various daily accessories designed for Canadian Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our Conservative-themed products at an affordable price. So enjoy free delivery across Canada. One of Polyav's most striking statements emphasizes his view that Canadians are not the problem, the problem is Trudeau's misguided policies. This direct challenge to Trudeau's leadership strikes at the heart of growing public disillusionment, providing a rallying point for those who feel left behind by the current government's initiatives. Polyav's critical statements often challenge Trudeau's leadership's perceived elitism and disconnection. He argues that Trudeau's government has prioritized global issues and progressive agendas at the expense of addressing essential domestic problems. Statements like Trudeau's government is more concerned about virtue signaling on the world stage than fixing our backyard resonate with underserved segments. Pierre Polyev has proposed a series of proposals to correct what he sees as failures in the liberal government's policies. His approach focuses on returning control to Canadians, primarily on economic revitalization and reducing government overreach. Polyev has consistently advocated for lower taxes, emphasizing the need to reduce the financial burden on middle-class families and small businesses. Polyev envisions a more transparent government that is accountable and responsive to Canadians' needs. He has called for reducing the size and scope of government, arguing that decentralizing power will lead to more effective governance. Polyev advocates for more substantial provincial autonomy, allowing regions to tailor better policies that suit their unique economic and social landscapes. The ripple effects of Polyev's proposals could shape the dynamic of Canadian political discourse, setting the stage for potential shifts in the political landscape. Polyev's statement, Canadians are not the problem, the problem is Trudeau's misguided policies, encapsulates this sentiment and provides a rallying cry for those dissatisfied with the current administration. This message has struck a chord, particularly among middle-class Canadians, who feel the brunt of policy missteps in housing affordability and economic instability. The public's reception of Polyev's criticisms also indicates a potential shift in political allegiances. With growing discontent over liberal policies, some traditional liberal supporters are re-evaluating their political loyalties. Do take a minute to visit our website. Sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately and sign up for our newsletter to get uncensored news on Canadian politics. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. If Polyev's criticisms continue to gain traction, the Liberal Party could face substantial long-term consequences. Declining support would likely affect their ability to secure majorities in future elections, weakening their influence. The shift in voter sentiment hinted at by the reaction to Polyev's statement suggests that the Liberal Party must address the root causes of discontent or risk losing their traditionally stable voter base.